Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's been on fire here. Back with another video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys part one of my new Orleans Saints offensive playbook, free ebook now. And th this is one of the best playbooks in the game. It has been for years now, and it just has so many great base formations to go off of and to have success running, as well as it's one of the easiest formations to learn. And it's very successful against anybody in Mutt. So, starting off, I'm for this. Uh, part of my ebook, I'm going to be showing the formation more of the gun formation. So, split offset, off trio weak, tight offset, tight end, bunch, tray open, and yeah, maybe tray wide flex. So, that uh, this part's just going to be more of the passing, although there will be some good runs in there as well. Next part's going to be more of a running type of the ground and pound formation. So, starting off, I'm in this gun split. Offset now I actually do I love actually kind of like this formation. It has some good plays. So what I like to do is just put uh, I like this slants middle and I'm gonna change the halfback draw to power O and Saints goes I don't know the only two plays I really run out of this set are gonna be power O and Saints middle occasionally slants so I'm just going to go ahead and respot the ball here real quick before we get into the play. So I'm just going to be on this left hash real right here. I'm just going to be on the right hash right here. So as far as this play goes, the power O, you pretty much just run at sock. You're reading the hole pretty much between that, guy, that end on the right and that tackle in the middle. So here, I just get it up the middle, and it's easy yards. I have have tons of success running this play in ultimate team just give yourself a quick running back and you can easily read the hole inside to out as you guys see just with Kamara you can put in work running this play and it's a very underrated play people they see you go to two split backs they aren't really expecting the run they're not, not really too worried about the run and it can catch them off guard obviously this formation is not going to be the main point focal point of the offense but it is still something that you can run just every once in a while to catch your opponent off guard and it will be uh, you have the potential to get a huge gain on the play again you just run it up the gut read the hole inside to out and make a decision on where you want to go now that's going to take us to our next play we got this or er, next play the saints middle this is a pretty simple play we it's a very good play stock what i like to do just Block this running back or what you can do if you want put him out here like this So here could be our setup. It's as you guys see we have tons of Excellent routes on the field. We have that table with Kamara. We have that in route with Ted Ginn That's gonna be super fast as well as the corner that can be the cover two in that deep post if it is Nothing else open to man beating route. So here we see Oh, What the heck that was actually Man coverage it probably should have went to the B route there. That was a forced read I'm just going to run it to this side because I don't really want to flip it every time. You, usually what I do is block my running back as well. It's not needed. And as you guys see there, that sometimes that B rat, that corner or quarter, whatever on that side, if it's a match, he's going to follow that post and that A route will be wide open. So again here, here's our setup. Hike the ball and X is going to get wide open. I just got pressured so it's, this those corners aren't really this corner out's not really meant to beat man coverage and it won't but it can get over the top just like that and you can make an easy catch with it it's definitely a zone beater more than a man coverage all right now our next formation out of this saints offense is going to be this gun y off trio week now something that i'm going to do and that everybody should do if they're running this formation is put their running back at tight end now there's a way to do this obviously the saints are a good team because they have two good running backs as you guys see i can just put latavius murray here he's fast and he can truck break tackles i could obviously already uh, i could obviously put Kamara there as well because of how good of a receiving back is but i kind of like the bigger backs at my tight ends rather than a small guy that can get hit stick and fumble so we go head back to our formation here and just come out in the regular package you guys can see latavius is at tight end now i get a super fast guy and he can get open a lot better than maybe a slower tight end on your team could and you 
these running backs come a lot cheaper than the tight ends in ultimate team as well so i already have my audible set here i have sticking up as x base as y saints outs as lb and pa wide receiver and srb another play that i'm going to be covering out of the formation is four verticals i do have a ton of more plays in my full gun white off geo week breakdown so if you haven't seen that make sure to go check it out if you are trying to get a more in-depth uh breakdown on this formation so coming out in this I'm just gonna come out in this sicken up first. Now my setup is pretty simple. Just drag A, streak R B and slant this B receiver. So here's our full setup, blocking my running back, obviously. Again, without if I'm running it on the short side of the field, I'm just gonna motion this X receiver in. You want it to be faster and it can be very annoying because of how long the route takes to develop. All these good pass rushes this year, you can just get screamed at and there's nothing you really you can do about it. So here just gonna dump it down to Latavius. Take my drag. Uh, you never know if you're getting sacked, so I'm just gonna show. I just something I preach in Madden is to take your flats always if they're open. Here X is gonna burn. We obviously put our fast receiver there, Ted Ginn, but that's you're gonna want a fast guy if you're going against man coverage. You're running this route. You're gonna want a fast guy here on the outside. So again, here's our full setup. Drag A, slant B, streak RB, and motion X in. You can fade RB if you want. I just prefer the streak for whatever reason. Again, we're getting screamed at. I can just hit X or B right here. And the good thing about this play is if he's he's obviously going to be using somebody on the field. So if he happens to be using that crosser route with Ted Ginn, then we have a high low read with Latavius and Michael Thomas. So here we get actually a funny look. We get this quarters. Anyway, we're going to have B wide open. And you guys see, he's using the X route. You still have a ton of chances in the play. Don't give up. Just make sure you're watching the full field. Some people might get stuck on that X route. You want to be reading the entire field. Just read his user, see wherever he's guarding, and throw it away from it. So here I'm going to try to hit X. He actually did a good job of covering it, but... I had it open still, I just didn't get enough time in the pocket, so I'm going to try to hit this X route one more time. This is definitely the premier route that you're going to be trying to hit. I think I might have forgot to block my running back there. Here we had A open, we hit X wide open again, barely, but that route is a little bit risky against the man coverage, even with a, sl a quicker receiver. But I'll show you guys the setup again. I have a this is my other setup that I like to run, it's just a pretty simple setup. You can run it like this, max protecting and obviously streaking RB with the drag on B so you can run it like this hike the ball I see that middle of the field guys covering X and I can just dump it down to the drag really quickly again here I have a that's another setup I like to run if he's running pinch buck O, you can do that another setup that I actually do do is do do I like to keep this drag route and you have this sort of reverse whip route you could call it uh, it's like a zig backwards so you can pretty much just run it like this instead of the slant you have this route and you i like to motion b in just get him a little closer putting him on a streak obviously hit latavius on that because they were playing so over the top and the only problem with motioning michael thomas in there is just that you can't motion the other guy in so i might just put him on a fade to delay it a little bit in motion get in still so here's your setup again we're gonna be looking at the rb route it's man coverage throw it on break and we get a great animation a lot of people won't be expecting that they might just think it's a flat route or an out route by the way that that route starts and if they're not paying attention you can kill people with that route especially in man coverage anyway i'm gonna go ahead and show off our halfback base here now the base is definitely a good run it's obviously not one of the better runs in the game but it you can still have success running this obviously this is a pass heavy formation but you guys see i just took that run to the crib <clears throat> now if people this is a pass heavy formation like i was saying people might just be 
all manning everybody up in zones they can't stop you with these plays so they might come out in a dollar they might spread their line trying to get sheds and you can just come out in this base make sure you're just reading the in out route into out blocking and there you guys see i can pick up yards as well another great thing about having a run like this in the, the plays any good player knows that these formations you want to be on the right or left hash so if i get a touchback let's say i get an interception something happens i throw in the middle of the field get tackled inside the hashes i'm just going to want to run this play try to get to one of the hashes to set up myself better for a passing play now another good thing about this run is you always want to have at least one run that you are feel comfortable in in a formation that you're going to be running heavy so if I'm just running gun Y off tree a week, mostly I'm going to want to have a good run in this. I think this halfback base does the job. You can break out runs very easily in the halfback base by getting perfect blocks. They set up great sometimes. And you guys can see I can just spam this and end up having success. Very easy to make people miss if they're not clicking on. So there you can just hit a easy juke move. Anyway, that's going to be it for the base. Not too much for that play, but I'm just going to go ahead and show off our next play, the Saints outs. This play is very good. I can just run the stock and have success hitting RB here. Drew Brees with the overthrow. I honestly don't know why Drew Brees is so bad in this game. Kind of surprising, but again, like I was saying, you can run it stock. You'll have someone open. That was actually a terrible read, but... I, def I definitely don't run this play stock. I'm not really too comfortable with the read stock, but I'm just going to show you, trying to show you guys that you can run it. Here I hit RB over the middle. Obviously, there's no user, but <clears throat> still a good route to sleep on. You guys will see that in our next setup, you can obviously get this RB route wide open. So, my setup that I like to run, block my running back. Like I was talking about earlier, I love to have six people blocking no matter what. So, I'm usually never, I rarely don't block my running back or my tight end anyway actually this is the wrong play block my running back i put x on an in route and i put b on a curl route now another adjustment that you can make out of this play if you want go ahead and motion this latavius murray out put him on a zig route as you guys see he gets the wide receiver hot routes in this slot instead of the tight end hot routes so i can motion him back in and he will stay on that zig route but if i try to put him on a zig from here it's a block and release fade which is a god awful route so if i wanted to have him on a zig i can run this that actually got messed up somehow but we can hit him late still for whatever reason the animation didn't do well against that press anyway i'm going to show you guys regularly here usually i don't do that usually i just keep that route the same but uh, honestly, i forgot if i honestly forgot to meant if i mentioned putting this beer receiver on a curl i don't like this deep out route because if it's a cover two the cloud flat does a great job of baiting between the deep out and the flat route so the curl route will do a good job against cover two a better job of getting open here we get man coverage low ball that b route you can low ball to any side or you can just low ball with the left stick down for a guaranteed catch here we get another man coverage look again we're man coverage looking for rb he's gonna get wide open here <clears throat> drew Brees with another overthrow on the route and it's whatever again here i'll show you guys here's our full setup hike it and a's wide open late i'm just gonna pass lead that up now, Drew Brees' pass leads are a little bit weird. Just take that into consideration. I don't know. The higher overall players get a couple of different pass leading animations, I think. Then if I would put a, any other quarterback, that's not as good as him there. But shouldn't really affect the reads too much that I'm using Brees. Oh, shoot. I'm in the wrong play. Anyways, I'm just... Just you can, guys, this play is good. You can even keep this high low read on the left side if you want. Don't if you don't like blocking running back, don't. You can just hit that X route. But you guys see it's wide open against the man coverage. If he's running man, I would definitely you, either route works. You can keep the curl or not. And I forget to audible again. This the thing that's kind of annoying in practice. You can't just quickly switch. You have to go to the play.
play screen come out in the play before you have to audible but again you can just run it stock <clears throat> and uh, you can have success running the play so that's pretty much just going to be it for the saints outs i'm going to go ahead and show you guys one of my favorite plays i have a full breakdown of this play alone actually on my channel make sure to go check it out but i have two setups for this i'll just show the first one the first one all you have to do is put b on a smart route make that we want this S route to be more shallow for us to be able to throw. If not, it's going to be too far down the field. Here we get a full out blitz. If it's man coverage, you're just going to hit kill that with that wheel route. You guys see a tight end just beat him in man coverage. This wheel route is probably the best wheel route in the game, in my opinion. I even like it more than the verticals wheel route. I have more success with it, at least. So, again, our setup I'm hitting B here. I had X open as well you just have to time it pretty perfectly if you run enough you will learn the timing on that route and the your opponent's not going to know who to use her on the play again here man coverage rb lop that over his head and we get the rack egg now that's pretty much it for my other setup or my first setup obviously if you wanted to run it you can hit this drag as well and we can also throw to the X route, which is a pretty quick in route. It also beats the man coverage in case you can't, can't throw that RB route. He's using it, whatever the circumstance is. All right, so my second setup for this play is going to be pretty simple. Drag X, streak A, put B on a smart route, and that's pretty much it. Just hike the ball like this. And we can hit that drag route very quickly. If he's just running man coverage and he, let's say he's using on the right, boom, just run this. I'm um, in the wrong play, but it still works. We can still hit X on that play. That goes for pretty much any formation in the game that's spread out wide. You can just do this, but <clears throat> for this, primarily because you're always going to have that drag on the field, and this is going to be our setup. So here. RB is going to get wide open again since for some the CPU loves to run man coverage. I can just easily kill them with that. But this setup really does. What I'm trying to show you guys is that it does set up this B route a lot better. It gets a lot more open against zone. So here we get a cover three blitz and B is going to get wide open. That, uh, that linebacker on the right side had to come down because of the drag. And it left Michael Thomas wide open and the safeties were nowhere near because they had to defend against Latavius Murray on the streak. So again here, <clears throat> this is actually the wrong play. Mm, just going to show you guys one more time out of this formation before we conclude our breakdown on the Y off trio. So again here, you can also hit a open, but again that's one of the things about a running back at tight end they're not going to catch the ball all the time but it definitely has more benefits than it does <clears throat> with the negative so gonna come out in the second best formation or the best formation depends <clears throat> in this playbook it's going to be this gun tight offset tight end now for this you're going to go to the halfback one package to get four wide receivers on the field this is why it is so good i have michael thomas at tight, at tight end pretty much you get four good receivers and you can do work with this. Obviously, in a situation like this, you might not have the receiver on the field, but just for the video, I'm just going to keep it. So the plays I'm going to be going over is Y out HB swing, the inside zone, Saints a halfback wheel, and Saints spot. Now, there's definitely a ton of other plays that in this formation that I like. If you want to see those, go check out my full <clears throat> gun tight offset tight end breakdown on my channel. I go over tons of more. I go over a lot of more different plays that I didn't go over. And I'm not going to be going over in this video, so make sure to go check that out if you have not already. Now again, I'm just going to come out in this inside zone to start off. Inside zone, it's not the best. I'll be the first to say it, but if he's coming out in dollar, you can pick up some easy yards with this. Pick up five. You'll take five yards on a run all game long. Obviously, in a situation like this, we get quarters. I'm just going to kill that. So, for whatever reason, if they're coming out in a dollar, fully spreading it, if you haven't run the ball once out of this all game, you can just easily pick up this for yards. I can even bounce this to the outside here for an easy first down there. 
and yeah, so the, I, I usually motion this B route in. You kind of want to hike him right there so he gets that loop that is pretty glitchy. Sometimes the loop is very annoying, but in a situation like this, it can be very good. Again, he's looping. He's literally pretty much running straight in front of Camara, setting up any block sheds he can pick up. So yeah, just gonna show you guys one more time here. Pretty basic run. You're just reading inside, outside again. And here we just take it inside with the shed from that right end. And since they're in quarters, I'm just gonna run the ball again because I'm not trying to pass on quarters. <clears throat> that was actually a terrible run stick, but it's whatever. Anyway, heading into our first play, the best play probably out of the whole playbook, it's gonna be this gun tight offset tight end. Now I have a tip for the, I have a full tip breakdown for this play. And I'll just show you guys real quick here. If you want the full breakdown, make sure to go check out that video as well. Just gonna be putting Y on a drag and we're, you guys might think, oh, it's the short side, he's not gonna get wide open. You're wrong, that, that cloud flat, that flat route is gonna come down and cover. Literally nobody covered Michael Thomas there, but I mean, it's whatever. I'm gonna try to get, it, try to show you guys again here. Drag Y. This is, you're just gonna be double dragging. We're looking for the corner out. It's man coverage. Throw it on break, and you're gonna kill people with that. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to. I'm just gonna try to run this play one more time. Try to run the setup before I show you guys my actual setups out of this full play. So again, drag B. Or drag Y, <clears throat> block your running back, and look. Here we get a zone, and Thomas beats it again, although that wasn't the zone we are looking for. Something glitchy, yeah. So if you want to see that, what I was talking about, make sure to go check out the video. Anyway, <clears throat> my full setup, what I like to do is just streak X, and I usually drag A. Something simple like this. I get, and Y is going to get wide open there. Throw it on the break. Something that I love about this play is that corner route. It is super good, and it's not like some of the other corner outs, especially the one I showed you guys out of Saints Middle. That one was slow. This one is very fast, and you can kill people with it. Here's another. Oh shoot, that was wrong. Here's another setup that I like to run. Putting A on a hitch, putting X on that out route, hike it, making a high low read, Y wide open. Those flat routes chased that out route and we can easily destroy that one-on-one -on -one with the safety so again I actually kind of like that setup a lot <clears throat> here it is obviously we can bomb out of this look at that pocket <clears throat> oh shoot if he didn't come out there was a dot but anyway I'm gonna show you guys one last time here I'm just gonna double drag here this play is great we're really looking for this corner and you can pretty much Get it open against every single coverage that you saw. I was running to the wide side and that play breakdown still works. You can double drag, you can double drag with the slant. I came out on the wrong play. But if they're running man coverage, this is the setup that I like to do. It's just gonna be drag A and slant X for this. I like to motion them out a couple steps, hike the ball there. And we had Y open, but it's whatever, so. Again here, you can even run it stock with A over there. And we hit Ted Ginn wide open even with the lob pass. You guys saw how much separation he caused there. <coughs> anyway, it's going to take us to our next play. We got the Saints halfback wheels. Something I, pretty much the setup I like to do is just flat B. And you can pretty much run it stock. So hike the ball. And we get RB wide open on that. You guys see that fly route's gonna stay with the flat. If he does follow, just dump it down there. We're looking for the wheel in this situation. <clears throat> so again, actually, the wheel is a little, uh, the wheel is a little bit different, I think, than a normal wheel. I'm not sure though. Don't quote me on that. But if you want, you can just run something simple like this. We have some good quick routes on the field. I tried to hit X really quickly, but we just got screamed at. And obviously the protection is going to be pretty bad. You're blocking five only. So if you want extra protection, you can do this. Oh shoot, I'm in the run again. Like I said about that, my bad. I'm not trying to do this. It's just accidents. So <clears throat> here's the setup you can do. You can put A on a curl. You can honestly do this and it'll ha work again here. 
you guys see nobody's in the flats so I'm just gonna hit Kirkwood and pick up a nice gain of 25 so I'm gonna show you guys one last time here this is pretty much the only setup I like to run hike it and we hit Kamara out of the backfield sometimes it can actually be a one play touchdown but not in this case also something to know out of this uh, this play it can also be a touchdown if you get the right timing just streak X and run it like this pretty much obviously we get our life screamed at so can't do much but against a cover three it will be a touchdown if you get the right player at that B slot and you get the right protection so here again I just get Y open so I'm just gonna take that but yeah there's a one play touchdown that I think I showed in my full breakdown so go check that one out Anyway, the last player of this formation is Saint Spot. Now I just have a pretty simple setup. What I like to do, just put X on a drag, streak B, and hike it. We're looking for the corner. Two table route combination. We actually kind of had both open there. We had our B wide open right away, and we end up getting A later in the play. So again here, drag X, streak B, and hike it. Just going to throw that very quickly to Kamara. Actually try to hurdle there, but you know whatever so yeah not too much to that play show you guys one last time here hike it man coverage or not man coverage zone coverage and Michael Thomas gets wide open on that curl again that that or that not the curl the corner that corner is not gonna kill um, any man coverage it's a slow one but that one out of <clears throat> YOHB swing will so next I'm heading to the gun bunch <clears throat> Pretty much the plays I like out of this is just going to be this Z spot and go. Verticals and mesh a little bit. I don't really run that mesh too much. And base, I'm not going to cover base. I don't really, the gun bunch is pretty god awful out of this. But I mean, still have to cover it because if you're struggling, this is a go to formation you can do. <clears throat> Usually, for if I'm struggling, I'm going to bunch. It's because I'm playing man coverage and this play is just going to destroy. You have the wheel and the slant, so just motion that wheel out, block your running back, and put him on the slant. I actually had uh, B wide open. I just missed the read, and we end up hitting X as well. So <clears throat> it's a lot. Obviously, I would play against the user, but I can't really. Two controllers, but you just really have to read the user, see what he's covering, and throw it away. Here I hit B wide open. Drew Brees with the overthrow once again. Somehow that's an inaccurate I don't know how that's an, an accurate quick throw. I don't know why people can't make quick throws in the NFL. Their Drew Brees is like a 95. That's another misread. <clears throat> I even passed lead that to the right and he overthrew. So I guess I can just run it stock as well. Here we actually destroy it and we hit the dot as you guys see against the man coverage. So that's pretty much all for my vertical setup. Oh, we obviously have base. I'll show it one time. It's not it's not a good run. If you're in the hash and you're just running bunch, you can just do this. Next up, we got Z spot and go. Now I'm going to run this to the other side. And my setup, I pretty much only, I either run it stock like this, where I streak X, put B on and in, block my running back. Or I have another setup here. Corner's getting wide open. And we actually somehow caught the ball off a of back foot. I think that's the first time that's happened to me this year. Somehow Drew Brees misses wide open, but he can throw off his back foot. Don't ask me how, but you guys saw that corner route. It's a slow developing route, but it still works as we're in the wrong play. Here we go. All right, so put it, be on and in. Pretty much any corner route can get open with this setup. <clears throat> and the right zones. So there we get it open. I'm going to show you guys my next Set up for Z spot real quickly here. Now this one, I'm just gonna streak B, drag A, and put X on a comeback, blocking my running back. Now this is what I call the skimbo setup because that's what I've seen pro players run this type of a setup and they all say they learned it from him. So you have two high-low reads, pretty simple setup. Here we're gonna get RB. Oh shoot, you actually played him there. We had the flats so open there, but unfortunately the one time I don't put anyone in the flats, it's whatever though. Again, I'll show you guys the setup. We'll be looking more 
to the other side here. I hit the corner out too wide open to pass up. <clears throat> and that corner out actually is sort of deeper, which is nice because it can destroy some coverage. E coverage is even on the short side that I'm running it on right now. So here we get a sort of man coverage look. I'm going to be looking to the other side. We're going to get X wide open there. Throw it on the break that you have to get the timing route perfect on the comeback routes. Otherwise, you're going to end up throwing a pick. Your quarterback's going to overthrow and it's just not going to be a completion. So again, I'll show you guys one last time here. Just get pressured. I had to get rid of the football there. All right, so now the last play is going to be mesh, mesh, and it's I eight. It's pretty much like a corner strike, but we don't really have corner strike out of this playbook, so this is what we have to do. Pretty much the same setup as the, the Z spot, the first setup. You can I just leave beyond a drag here. Again, it's a it's a long route, so it's going to be zone, not man though. Man's going to box it. It's a long breaking route, which is kind of frustrating, but. You would rather have a stick play out of this formation, but we don't, so we just have to deal with what we have out of this gun bunch. Here it's going to get wide open though, so it can work. It's a great route if they're running a coverage like that, as we actually make a man miss there. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for the gun bunch formation. I'm going to show you guys one last formation here before we conclude part one of our setups. It's going to be tray open now. I don't really have too many plays I like out of this. I'm just going to come out PA wide receiver in. Y corner, four verticals, and the inside zone. So I'll just show PA wide receiver in first. You can <clears throat> Just because I'm running the same exact setup that I just did out of the other one. So running it stock, boom, hike it. Just a different play action animation, and we get the wheel route wide open, but get the worst animation in Madden. It's whatever, though. Again, I'll show you guys one last time here out of this formation or this setup. As you guys see, the other one's a little bit better because that wheel route got bumped there and we didn't really have somehow against the man coverage. He wasn't open, but thankfully Michael Thomas beat it. So the other setup is definitely the move out of this because, I don't know, it's just more successful. Boom, hit X wide open on the drag for an easy yard. No one's, that zone's worried about the wheel S route combination. You can just hit that quickly. Again here, here B is going to get wide open, just lob, oh my gosh, I'm so, I, that, that looks like a different coverage to me, but I just made a terrible read, so I'll just show you guys one last time here, you guys already know, I already showed you guys this play, so boom, hike it, B is getting wide open, and we throw that dot at the perfect timing, and get a huge gain, so if you're running this formation, let's say you like this a little bit better, you're running gun tight offset, tight ends your main formation, and you like the tray open better than the trio, then you can just come out in this. Here's the inside zone, pretty simple, just going to be a regular inside zone, classic. As Jared Cook walks absolutely nobody down the field, don't know if you saw that, he literally was just running like a chicken with his head cut off. If you want motion at one of these guys in, get some good blocking, and we're off to almost the crib. If that receiver on the right would have hold, held his block. Anyway, the inside zone is actually kind of decent out of this. Although it's not too fast of an inside zone, it still works. And we can still get some decent blockage out of this. Obviously, this isn't the key point of the um, setup. So you're not really going to be running this too much. Here is the Y corner, though. The setup for this is just going to be street or <clears throat> smart route X. You're going to be running this to the other side. So smart route B, block your running back. Streak RB and put A on a smart route. And I love this X route that Michael Thomas is on right now. You guys see it's a little bit, it's like a super fast in route. I like it. We also have that S route over the middle that is pretty good. And that corner to streak read. So I can even motion him in a little couple steps here. Throw it really quickly on the break. Drew Brees with the overthrow. So again, I'm just going to run it to the short side here because I don't really want to flip it. Usually you'd run it to the other side though. Here I have A wide open. <clears throat> That's kind of the bad thing about not having a fire out, you could say, is because I just, uh, the, cl the cloud flat beats me. So again, I'll just show you guys this play one more time. We're looking. You can leave that wide route if you want. Here we don't really have anybody open. Uh, we hit B on the playmaker, but they had absolutely no pressure. Yeah, 
again, yeah, it's going to be my wide corner setup. Really, the only thing you're doing out of this is looking for a man-beating route with that A route. Here, we actually threw it perfectly on the timing to beat that cornerback, but that A route's just going to beat man coverage. That's pretty much all it does. Next up, we got four verticals. Now, we obviously had the four verticals out of the trio and the gun bunch, but this one is just a little bit different here. <clears throat> we had X open, but we're pretty much reading the seams here. We're looking if it's cover three, we're going to be trying to hit. Oh, shoot, I'm in the wrong play. We're just going to be trying to hit this seam route, although sometimes it does fade to the outside, which is kind of annoying. But it, I can hit it right there. Boom. Easy dot. And it is a very good pass to run. Out of this gun tray open, which doesn't have too many good plays. Here we're getting man coverage, so I'm just going to be chucking this one up. Because this play is not going to do anything for you against man coverage. I obviously could have put him on a slant, but I'm just messing around. I'm going to show you guys one more time here before I end the video. Set up. Man coverage. And we had X and Y wide open. Forgot to block my running back. It's whatever, though. So, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to go watch part two on my channel. If you're watching this the first day, it will be uploaded tomorrow. If not, go check it out. And make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. For some Fire Madden 20 tips that are upcoming, not only ebooks, I have full formation schemes, full play breakdowns, full glitch plays, full defensive ebooks, full blitzes, anything you can imagine, any Madden 20 tips that will help you get better. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you did enjoy this part one of my Saints ebook and go check out, yeah, like I said, go check out my Raiders ebook if you haven't got some fire plays out of that one and yeah.